Hello students, we are going to learn about Italian unification today. We're going to start by looking at the map of Europe under Napoleon. So I want to remind you that Napoleon expanded the boundaries of France, which is yellow or gold on this map, took over the green states, the pink states he ruled, the blue states were actually allied with Napoleon. When Napoleon's defeated, this is the map that the Europeans come up with, they agree at, at a, a diplomatic meeting. The diplomatic meeting was called the Congress of Vienna. So it's held in the city of Vienna in 1815. So Vienna's in the country of Austria. Austria was exceptionally powerful here. Austria here in your right-hand part of your map, Russia's above it in orange. In green, you see a new state we haven't talked about at all. That's called Prussia. Prussia, we will learn about in a couple of days. Prussia will form eventually the modern German state. You can see Sweden and Norway are merged up above that. Denmark's there. Britain's not marked really on this map. I mean, it's there, but it's not colored in. France is the purple state. France is important. It's a fairly large state. They didn't really lose much territory. And you got Spain and Portugal down there. So with this map, I want you to notice in the center part of Europe, there is no such thing as Italy, and there's no such thing as Germany. So you want to kind of keep that in mind, because that's where we're going. And how do we get to the modern map today of Italy and Germany? Well, that's what we're going to be covering here. So Italy formed because of the surge of European nationalism in the mid-1800s. Now, the Catholic Church was not supportive of a unified Italian state unless the Catholic Church was in charge of it. Of course, church power has declined since about 1648, so they will not be able to unify the Catholic, or the uh, Italian state. <clears throat> I like to say there's a couple of steps in Italianification, and I kind of point out these three steps. You can come back to this and look at this. Perhaps I will, this is in your um, packets of handouts, which I will include on our Google Classroom. But we're going to be talking about the first step is the rise of nationalism, and that the pot, that idea is kind of stirred. It's inspired by this Giuseppe Mazzini. A plan, and its inaction is actually done by Cavour, the Prime Minister of Sardinia Piedmont. He's going to use two wars to get what he wants. And then how do you really unify the whole state? You're going to have the leadership of Giuseppe Garibaldi and his band of red shirts. So these are the steps of Italian vacation. Here is a picture of these leaders. So I've mentioned to you Cavour, Garibaldi, and Mazzini. And they're really the, the action figures. They're the people who are doing things here. King Victor Emmanuel will become a king of a unified Italian state. He was the king of Sardinia Piedmont for a period and then becomes all of Italy. Um, he's also pictured here. But you have this idea of Giuseppe Mazzini being the heart of Italianification. He inspires people. He's going to have attempted revolution, a revolt to over to unify the Italian state is not going to be helpful, not going to be successful, I want to say. Successful is the key. And he fails, but he plants the seeds of nationalism in the Italian in the Italian head, the Italian brain. So people start to think about a unified Italian state. Cavour will come up with a plan. His plan would be, include kicking Austria out of the Italian states, using war to get what he needs to get, and Garibaldi provides the passion or the muscle. He will be a professional revolutionary, and he's going to get the southern Italian states to unify with the northern Italian states for a unified Italy. So we'll come back to these. So Giuseppe Mazzini, as I told you just a few minutes ago, he actually tried to rule in the 1840s, and he fails. He writes in the newspaper. He, he stirs up problems. Um, but he's not successful. He plants the seeds of ideas here, though. Sardinia Piedmont becomes the, the magnet for this unification. I would argue Cavour has a plan. His first success that really starts is just being the leader, the political leader of Sardinia Piedmont. So this map gives us a nice chance to look at Sardinia Piedmont. Sardinia in green, Piedmont in yellow together, and they're merged there after 1815. So Cavour in the 1850s builds up this state. <clears throat> so with industrialization, modern ideas, like with the Constitution, embodying enlightenment ideals we talked about. He sees a problem, and the problem would be Lombardy and Venetia in the north are really influenced by Austria, actually run, controlled by Austria. Cavour needs France's help. He wants Lombardy and Venetia in the north to join with Sardinia Piedmont, so he's going to need help to kick out this Austria. So he does this by helping in a war. Now, this war is really not so important, but the war is called the Crimean War. There's a famous poem from this called The Charge of the Light Brigade. 
But this is a war between Russia and Britain and France. So Russia is going to try to take land from the Ottoman Turkish state, which is getting weaker. Russia wants to have free access in and out of the Bosphorus and Dardanelles Straits for its mil its navy. And Britain and France were like, well, if you get part of the state, we want part of this. So Britain and France were opposed to Russia, Russia taking territory. Sardinia Piedmont is going to have this opportunity, or they see an opportunity, to help and get a seat at the diplomatic table here at the peace negotiations. Sardinia Piedmont really just wanted France's support later, France's support to kick Austria out. That's why Sardinia Piedmont helps here. She's not really that significant militarily or some great you know, force of fighters. No, it's about getting France's help. <clears throat> we want France's help because you want France to be an ally of Sardinia Piedmont if you could go to Austria into war against you. So this is called the Austria-Sardinian War. And so the Sardinians will go to Austria into battle. France is supposed to help Sardinia Piedmont, which she does. And then France gets a little bit wishy-washy and backs out. Because the war kind of fizzles out, because of France being wishy-washy, the Sardinian Piedmontese were only able to gain in the north the state of Lombardy. They're not able to gain the state of Venetia around the city of Venice. Several northern Italian city-states join with Sardinia Piedmont here. So this is a great map to kind of show you um, Lombardy, which is colored gold on this map, joining in with Sardinia Piedmont. And how do we get these purple states to join the next year? Well, in comes our friend Giuseppe Garibaldi. Now notice his sharp red shirt here. He's a band of red shirts. And he literally is a professional revolutionary. I'm not sure I could be married to this guy. There was a bounty on his head in the 1830s, I believe, and he flees Italy and he goes to South America, where South America is going through a whole series of revolutions themselves. Um, he lives in the Amazon. His wife gives birth to a couple of children there. Again, I'm not sure I could be married to this Garibaldi. But Garibaldi comes back because he hears about this revolution and this nationalism in the state. <clears throat> He's willing to follow the leader Cavour and Victor Emmanuel. And with a band of about a thousand men, a thousand red shirts, he marches up the boot of Italy, um, invading Sicily and persuading the people to join under the leadership of Cavour and Victor Emmanuel. And then this is the state after Garibaldi's band of a thousand red shirts marching its way up. Most of Italy is unified by 18. 61. It's a fantastic job. There are exceptions. You can notice Venice in the north, or Venetia it's called. That's a state of Venetia around the city of Venice. And then we have Rome here. So it's called the Patrimony of St. Peter, but you know, he couldn't topple the Catholic Church here. He would have tipped off or irritated some other devout Catholics um, in the in the European states if you had, had if you had invaded Rome. Luckily for the Italians, Garibaldi does not. Those two sections, if you notice back and forth here, we're going to see those two sections join with the unified Italy by 1870. And we have to talk about why that happens, but it's because Germany, a German actions, a really Prussian actions will lead to Austria having to give up Venice and for the French to allow the Rome, the, the Rome to join with the Italian state. But that's because of Prussian or German actions we will talk about another day. So this is a map, same map, different different view of it, but you can see Sardinia Piedmont here unified in the north with this gray color. You see Lombardy come in 1858, excuse me. You see the green states, the rest of Italy, you know, Garibaldi started down on the tip here. The tip of the boot started with Sicily and he's going to march his way up. And the orange states come very late in 1866 and 1870. This will be an important map for you to use when I ask you to do your timeline. Look at all those dates listed there for you. A great cartoon done at the time for all of you skilled artists out here. <clears throat> it shows you Garibaldi in his red shirt. He lays down his sword. He's helping Victor Emmanuel put together this unified Italian state. So here are the leaders again in the Italian vacation movement. Count Cavour, Garibaldi, Mazzini, and King Victor Emmanuel. I want to just mention, which I failed to earlier, Cavour you know, he's got a title. He's an old aristoc you know, member of the aristocracy or noble class. So it's Count Cavour. Giuseppe Garibaldi and Giuseppe Mazzini don't, aren't part of this aristocratic life. And of course, the king would be also. We have a new flag for Italy. And I want to just mention that 
Cavour was willing to do what he needed to do to achieve his goal. He wanted to unify his state. But this concept is called real politique, and we're going to see this also mentioned when we talk about the German state.